Now, in recognition of Endometriosis Awareness Month, we turn our focus to Mount Kenya Hospital in Kiambu County, where efforts are underway to shed light on endometriosis, which is an often misunderstood condition. Endometriosis is a significant health concern for many women, yet it is often undiagnosed. It can lead to severe pain, infertility, and other complications if left untreated. For too long, the agony of menstrual pain has been dismissed as a rite of passage or a normal part of being a woman. But there is nothing normal about painful periods. Take a look. Painful periods are not just a minor inconvenience. They can significantly impact a woman's quality of life and overall well-being. Many women visit hospitals during that time of the month in excruciating pain. Most imagine it is the price they silently have to pay for womanhood. I've had endometriosis for the past three years or so. So I started having pain last year, then I went for checkup, then found out I had endometriosis, so I've opted for the laparoscopic. With endometriosis, you're physically exhausted. Day in, day out. Emotionally, I am overwhelmed because of the emotions and the pain that I go through day in, day out. Endometriosis is a chronic and often painful condition in which tissue similar to the lining of the uterus, called the endometrium, grows outside the uterus. This tissue can be found on the ovaries, fallopian tubes, outer surface of the uterus, and other organs within the pelvis. During the menstrual cycle, this tissue behaves similarly to the tissue inside the uterus. It thickens, breaks down, and bleeds with each menstrual cycle. I think back in the village, people perceive it as just painful periods. Uh -huh. When you go to a, a clinician, they tell you it's normal to have the period pain. You get pregnant, so it was a hassle for me to get management properly so i had even started looking for ways of me getting pregnant if that was the only solution for me to not be in pain and also you find when you go to a gynecologist they just give you pain meds and tell you to go back home because this tissue is located outside the uterus the blood and tissue shed during menstruation have no way to exit the body leading to inflammation pain and the formation of scar tissue this last week we are performing surgeries for endometriosis for free so we've had patients you know from the rural um, who have suffered from endometriosis we started by screening doing ultrasound scan for endometriosis and this week we'll be running free surgeries for endometriosis why i think this is important is that performing this surgery in the rural is uh, surgery for endometriosis or care for endometriosis can be quite expensive. At least 60 women were screened. 20 women with endometriosis are scheduled for surgery. One out of 10, that is 10% of women suffer from endometriosis. So one of the biggest challenges more so in the rural is accessibility. How easy do they access um, a gynecologist? More importantly, for patients who have endometriosis is also getting an opportunity to access an endometriosis um, excision specialist, which I think it's one of a big, 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 big challenge. With a multidisciplinary team, including general surgeons, cardiothoracic surgeons, gynecologists and urologists, patients here are given appropriate care for endometriosis. The level of awareness for endometriosis is still very low. Uh, why do I say awareness is very low? It's because it's still not very clear. Now, I'll give an instance. We know that the symptoms for endometriosis would include uh, pelvic pain, pain during uh, menstrual cycle, uh, pain during... Uh, uh, sexual intercourse, pain while passing stool, and so on and so forth. We also see uh, most patients will present with infertility as a, um, as a complication of, uh, of endometriosis. Now, this is a challenge. When patients will have these symptoms, first of all, it's going to be likely that when they are seeking for care, they will see general practitioners. By this I mean um, clinical officer. And most of these uh, will really not have much uh, knowledge on endometriosis. 
There is no local data on endometriosis in Kenya. Very little attention has been given to it by clinicians and the government. A lot of myths surrounding endometriosis. This will include where young girls will be advised to go get pregnant, is going to cure endometriosis. We know that's a terrible myth. Um, some are advised that uh, painful menses is a normal phenomenon, which is really not a normal phenomenon. And I think the other one is there's, a, you know, a lot of, you know, taboo surrounding menstrual health. So women don't talk about menses. And if you're not talking about menses, then how will uh, someone report their symptoms? So you really find that most women are suffering because they cannot talk about it. Or but there is hope. With the right skill, on the right hand, now we are able to pick endometriosis uh, using ultrasound scan. There is no role of open surgery in endometriosis, and if there is, it's very, very low. So in most cases, we say surgeries for endometriosis ought to be performed through laparoscopy. So laparoscopy is a minimally invasive surgery where we introduce a camera and then two small tiny incision to introduce our instrument for us to be able to operate. The advantage of using laparoscopy is that it magnifies the image, you have better clarity, there's less bleeding, there's better handling of the tissue. The exact cause of endometriosis is not fully understood, but it can be managed and treated, although there is currently no cure. Doctors should stop dismissing pain in ladies. Please stop telling ladies that pain is normal during periods. We should champion for pain-free periods. The goal of treatment is to alleviate symptoms, improve quality of life, and when desired, address fertility concerns.